Hello everyone, welcome to class. Let's go and start your practice today. We're going to do a restorative one and again in the theme of our new moon. So before we start, go ahead and find yourselves here at the center of your mat. You can actually do this um, if you're in bed or just a good space for you to um, lie down or gently take a good seat where um, maybe you can be not bothered and you can be by yourself and maybe have some silence. Uh, I have props here with me. I have pillows, blankets, um, I have my blocks. If you have any of these, put them here on the side. I'm going to show you how you can use them today. Um, if you don't have any, perfectly fine. Anything that can support you for your practice today, just grab them. Maybe um, thick books, maybe yoga bolsters or yoga pillows, um, anything that you have there with you. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use them later to better support you because we're going to stay for a pose or a shape for a few minutes. So we're going to go deep into our body and into our mind today. So let's go and start. So let's go first in your sukhasana or your easy seated pose. Give yourself a seat at the center of your mat or wherever you are sitting. Give yourself a nice comfortable seat. Maybe open the thighs and glutes out wide. Allow the sit bones to be grounded on the mat. Left or right foot in front, whichever feels good. And then slowly place your hands here on your knees. Maybe palms facing up. Any kind of mudra will do. Maybe anything that can support today. Maybe one hand to your heart, another to the belly if you want to be more aware of the breath. Or maybe find your Anjali mudra, hands and prayer to the heart. So again, this um, practice invites you to honor yourself and honor your body. So we're going to give you a lot of options for today. Feel free to practice whichever feels good for you. Now, if you want to have support here in your Sukhasana, you can find a block, a pillow, or a bolster. Place them here in your bum to elevate yourself. If you feel like sitting on the ground is not okay for your body today. You can also find support in placing maybe blankets or pillows on the sides, maybe here on your knees to find yourself comfort. And we're going to stay here in your Sukhasana for a bit. So place your hand wherever it feels good. You have an option to gaze forward. Maybe find one focal point. Find your drishti. Or soften the gaze through the nose. Or close your eyes here for a few moments. And begin to arrive in your mat. Begin to arrive in your practice. Maybe a few cycles of deep inhales and complete exhales to start. Just to let the body ease into the practice. And find awareness on where your breath is at. Focusing on your body, your physical one right now. Noticing any tension that may be here. And with the breath, allow it to gently be melted away, if that's possible. Or just maybe create some space to know that it's here. Maybe visualize how the breath comes in and out of the body. That as you inhale, let the breath travel in through the nose or, out, or into the mouth. Traveling, touching your tongue or the roof of the mouth towards the throat. Coming in in each lung and tapping the bottom of the lung. And as you exhale, visualize how it comes up. How the lungs shrink back in, or ribs gently shrink back in, chest gently fall down. Relaxing the shoulders at, as it travels towards the throat and out through the mouth or out through the nose. This cultivation of visualization of our breath reminds us how our mind helps us to create space. And as you visualize the breath, begin to find awareness in all of your body parts as well. Allow the body to relax one by one. Relax the head, soften the shoulders. Allow your arms to relax. Allow your chest to relax, your heart to soften. Allow the belly 
to be here your hips grounded down all of your legs relax up into your ankles your heels up into your tippy toes only when you quiet down can you listen to your deepest thoughts and desires notice how you breathe and notice how you feel and as our practice aligns with the new moon and we know that the new moon is the first of the eight phases in this darkness we are compelled to turn inward we are invited to reflect we are given permission to listen to what we truly desire for ourselves we are invited to this season to be gentle with ourselves to expand our energy to allow time to cultivate habits or rituals breathing in and breathing out and as we are here maybe we can start with an intention an affirmation or a mantra that can support us in focusing on our practice today something that can resonate with where you are right now in your journey or something that can help you drive yourself towards your path you can offer your practice today to someone or you can just do this for yourself notice how the mind shifts And if it's too hard to think of an intention for today, let me guide you through it. Let's connect a mantra with the breath. That as you inhale, say this on top of your head, I am. And as you exhale, say this on top of your head, whole. Aligning it with the new moon. Inhale, I am. Exhale, hold. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Allow the face to relax. Allow the forehead to soften. Allow the space between the eyebrows to relax. Releasing tension in your nose, your cheeks, your ears. Unclenching the jaw. Relaxing your tongue. Begin to relax all of your neck, your throat, your shoulders. Notice how you breathe. And as we send love to each and every thought, as we send love to each and every emotion that may be here in our practice right now or that may arise in our practice right now, Give yourself permission to be here, just staying still. And let the thoughts and the emotions be as they are. Whenever you're ready, allow yourself to come back to your physical body. Tapping into each sense. Whenever you're ready, maybe allow the eyes to open 
softly here. Welcome back to the present moment. On your next breath, extend all of your hands up to the sky, hands up in prayer. Exhale, hands in prayer to the heart. Namaste. Let's start with your practice with one big om. Take an inhale deep through the nose and exhale out through the mouth and om. Inhale. Om. Allow the energy to be cleansed and give yourself permission to invite every single energy that will serve you good. Let's start with your practice. Let's go start with your child's pose first. So if you use the block or a pillow, place them on the side first as we go to your child's pose. I usually start my child's pose off from a tabletop position. So go at the center of your mat, shoulders to the wrist, open the fingers out, wide hips onto the knees. This is your tabletop position. Option to plant the feet together and the knees together. And then hips onto the heels, extend your hands forward, melt your heart down. Forehead can ground down as well. This is your classic balasana. And then if you want some more, I'm going to give you an option. Option two. If your shoulders are tight today, you can open them a little bit out wide. You can also turn out your hands as if your thumbs are pointing to the front of the mat. You also have an option to take your knees wider, maybe as wide as the hips or as wide as your mat. As you plant your hips down to the heels, your heart will gently plant on the ground on your mat. Allow the forehead to ground down here. And then, of course, if you want support from your props, if you have any for today, first off, you can find a block, maybe two. Place them here at the center of your heels to give yourself a nice seat there. You can opt to find it a little bit higher if you feel like your knees are tight for today or your hips. You also have an option to place maybe pillows, one, two, or three. You can take this really, really high or really, really low. Depends on what you want. Okay. Also, you can find a blanket. What I usually do is that I roll them like this. If you have like a bolster that is shaped like this, you can do that. And then place them here on my thighs so that that can support me when I sit. There you go. like that so so much comfort there again know what body know what your body wants for today or know what you want especially it doesn't have to go fancy with all of the props that we have feel free to be you this is your practice this is your flow know what feels good option to go deeper or option to take a breather and honor where it is at Option to close your eyes, maybe find awareness in the crease between the forehead and the nose. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. Allow the hips to softly ground down on your heels. Notice this opening on your shoulders. Notice this opening on your hips. Notice how the heart grounds down, roots you down to your center. And come back in finding awareness and how you breathe. Notice how the side bodies open as well. And again, as we stay here long in each pose or in each shape, maybe we can gently ground down into our intention today allow me to guide you in visualizing how we can align our practice today with the new moon so on your next breath visualize the moon 
slowly radiating in each and every part of your room. Visualize how it shines or lights up your place, your mat, wherever you're practicing. How does it make you feel? And slowly visualize the new moon, its light, simply touching each and every part of the cells in your body. Igniting, actively allowing your body parts to glow. Visualize the new moon's light, igniting your spirit, igniting your heart, igniting your thoughts, each and every emotion that is here. Notice how you breathe. Once you're ready, gently come back to the physical body, relaxing your shoulders, maybe wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, maybe move the head side to side for a bit, and then simply just come back, open the eyes, maybe gaze a little bit forward as you crawl your hands back to a seat. Plant your knees together if you did it far. Put your props on to the sides if you used any. And then gently come back to your tabletop. Swinging the hips side to side, making sure nothing is painful. Once you're ready, let's go to your next pose. We're going to take your melting heart. So uh, starting off again with your tabletop knees here hip width distance apart hips are stacked onto the knees nothing too far forward or nothing too lazy at the back so ground yourself down here and then slowly extend your hands forward here again shoulder distance apart or wide if your shoulders are tight and then slowly we're gonna melt our heart down literally to the ground so option to find your forehead down to the ground or you can look forward, chin grounds down, heart presses to the mat. I may not be able to demo it right now because my mic is on my chest, but feel free to go deeper here. Hips are still stacked on to the knees. You can also tuck your feet if that feels supportive today. I'm going to stay here for quite a bit, so let's go and find support. So if you want support here, you have an option to, again, Find blocks, find pillows, one, two, or three, like this, so that when you ground down, you have support. You also have an option to use blocks, thick books, maybe place one on your forehead, like this. There you go. Or, if you want to go deeper here, you can place two blocks shoulder distance apart and then we're gonna plant our elbows there like that maybe forehead will ground down on the mat and then this is a shoulder opener also you can plant your hands here in prayer and then maybe you let it point to the sky or maybe you drop them here on your knees if you want to go deeper so this may be a little bit um too intense for today no one feels good for the body I know it feels good for you. So 
So this pose opens our Anahata Chakra or your heart chakra as we ground down to it. Notice how this chakra can align with how we intend this practice to be in the new moon phase. Once you're ready, we're going to release slowly here. Gently press back up. And then slowly crawl back to your tabletop. Very nice. Place your props onto the side if you use them. Maybe wiggle the hips side to side. Maybe taking cat and cow here. First off with your cat around the back here. Tuck the tailbone. Navel presses to the spine. Shoulder blades widen to the side. Maybe chin can come pressing to the chest. Maybe tent the hands here. Palms are up. And then slowly relax to your cow. Take your belly down to the floor. Tailbone points up high. Maybe palms ground back down once more. Allow the shoulder blades to press together at the back. Maybe lean forward a little bit to open the heart forward. Maybe gaze to the sky if it's possible. So doing a few rounds of your cat and cow allows you to alleviate any tension that may be there in your melting heart. Once you're ready, let's go back to the center and do the next pose, which is your dragon. So stay here in your tabletop. We're going to go and step that left foot here beside that left pinky. So gently stepping that left foot beside here, the left pinky. They can come together as if your left shoulder and your left knee is pressing onto each other. Or you can take that left foot as far as you want to the left side. Shoulders are still stacked onto uh, the wrists, the hands. And then if you want some more here, you can plant your right knee farther to the back. You can also opt to untuck that right foot down. Allowing this opening onto the hips. You can tap the hands as well to open your heart here. Roll the shoulders down and back to let your spine feel tall. So two things happening here, right? The pressing your hip down and then lengthening the spine up high. You have an option to find your props here. First off is to plant blocks or pillows, one or two here in front on each hand to give yourself a nice support as you lift up. You can also find a block. Place one here on your right thigh, like so, if you feel like pressing your hip down is not okay for today. And then also, if you want to go deeper into this pose, you can ground your forearms down. Maybe plant the hands, the palms down, or plant them together, hands clasped in. So notice how this opening is on your hip. Again, inviting stillness in the body. You have an option to release your left knee away from your left shoulder. Or keep planting that left knee towards your left shoulder to feel the squeezing or firming of the inner thighs together, clenching the glutes. Find this active position by rolling the shoulders to the sides, engaging into the core, pressing your elbows, your forearms, your hands down to the ground. Allowing the lower belly to plant in. Or again, option to just do this really, really slow but by taking passive stretches and again lying down on your props your body your rules you can close your eyes here for a moment
Once you're ready, we're going to begin to come back to our present moment. Allow the eyes to open first. The last thing that you moved is the first thing that you released. So allow the props to gently plant it on the side. If you did it with your forearms, if you fold it down, slowly come back and rise. Pressing your hips as slow as you can back up. Planting that right knee back in. Releasing that left leg to the back. Grounding yourself back to your tabletop. Swinging the hips side to side. Making sure nothing is painful. If you want a release on your hands for a bit, take a seat at the back. Maybe shake your arms, your hands, your wrists. Making sure nothing is painful. We're going to do everything on the opposite side. And know that in restorative yoga, there's this big space for you to notice how one side is different from the other. So we're going to practice that today by doing this dragon pose on the right side. So gently plant that right foot beside that right pinky in front. So again, options here, find your right foot near the right pinky or place it far if you want, you want a little bit more space. Left knee can come at the back. Again, option for your blocks, your pillows place in here in your body. Or again, if you want to go deeper, your option, forearms can ground down. And know that what you did in one side can be applied to the other, but in no means you should be doing the opposite side the same if you feel that one side is more tight. This is how we can practice self-compassion, and this is how we can practice kindness. Allow the neck to relax here, and again, rooting your thoughts and feelings to how we can align ourselves with the new moon. Remembering how we went journaling into the new moon meditation. Maybe we can come back to the questions. What are the things that we are ready to release? What are the things that we can create space more moving forward into the new moon? One last breath here in the shape. And then slowly, let's release. Open the eyes. Come back to the present moment. Release your blocks. Release the pillows, any props. Grounding back down. Placing your hands. Releasing any tension. Pulling the knee back in, lift the hips, release the leg back to your tabletop. Swing the hips side to side, relaxing the hands, relaxing the arms. Allowing yourself to see any kind of tension, any sen sensation that is here in the body. Once you're ready, let's go to your next pose. Let's go find a center here. Crawl your knees towards the center. Plant the knees together here and then slowly untuck the feet. 
Put them on the sides, make some space, and then take a seat here, finding your full hero pose. Knees can come together, or if you want, you can take your knees one or two knuckles away from each other to make some space if this is too much um, on your knees and your quads. Your heels are pressing onto the, he uh, to the hips. Now, if you want support in this pose, I, I know that this can be a little bit too much for some. You can find a block, one or two. Again, plant them here at the middle of the heels. And then elevate yourself like so, feeling your spine tall, relaxing the shoulders, lifting your heart, your chest towards the sky. And then place your hands here on your quads or collect them here at the center. If you want to go deeper into this hero pose, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Find yourselves here, maybe a little bit to the top of your mat. Plant your hips here. And then slowly, you can opt to lean back like this, as easy as this. You can take your hips high, tuck your tailbone, and then plant down. So that is a good way for you not to um, uh, put any tension in your lower back. You can also go deeper by planting your forearms, your elbows at the back. Again, tuck the tailbone, press your hips down. And then if you want to go further, if you have some more in you, you can plant your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, all of your upper body down to the ground. Again, tuck the tailbone, press your hips up and down. Knees, option two, plant them together. That is the best one there is. But again, if this is too much, one or two knuckles away from each knee will do. Planting your heels towards your hips. Notice this opening on your quads, your hip flexors. Hands can be on the sides. Palms can face your sky. Or take your arms up and overhead. Maybe hands can come on opposite elbows. Take a clasp. Allow the ribs to stay planted down. Soften the belly. Option to close your eyes. Rooting back to your mantra today. Inhale, I am. Exhale, hold. Last few cycles of the breath here in this shape. Whenever you're ready, begin to come back. Allow the eyes to gently open. We're gonna go back to your tabletop. So release everything. If you lie down, slowly begin to come back, plant your elbows down, release your head, upper body, come back to a seat. You have an option to stay here for a bit or gently fall down for a little. Maybe coming back to your child's pose, allowing the lower body to relax. Once you're ready, we're going to go back to your tabletop. 
and begin your next pose. You're going to go and find your swans, your sleeping swans. So left leg first. Begin to plant your left knee towards uh, the hands in between and then slowly swing your left foot, left heel to the right side. Relax your hips down to the ground as you extend your right leg at the back. Flex that right foot, tops of your feet down to the ground. So you opt to find your sweet spot in this one. Left heel can come near the treasure or take it farther if you want. So what you want here is to keep pressing the navel in, ribs still in. If this is too much for you, you can find support with your blocks. Place them here on your hip to elevate yourself a little bit. You can also find pillows there if you want. If you're good here, you can opt to sit down or you can fold all the way down. So allow the heart, the chest to gently melt down and maybe it can rest on your left calf, left shin. Maybe forehead can ground down, hands can stay up and overhead, or take your hands clasp onto each elbow. If you want support while you're lying down here, you can find a pillow, one or two, place in here on your chest, and then slowly fold all the way down. So notice how you can support yourself here. Again, notice where your mind goes, and notice where your emotions are coming from. As earlier in the mounting heart, we tapped into our Anahata Chakra. This time around, the sleeping swan invites you to tap into your crown and also into your root and your sacral chakra. Finding the meridian systems can be applicable here in this pose. But again, we're going to focus on the new moon. So regarding the visualization that you have, as you visualize how the energy or the light of the new moon spreads across your room, your mat, your space. And as the light travels to each and every cell and each and every part of the body. Notice how your mind is at when you say you want to be able to communicate or think. So expend your energy at this point. As you begin to communicate and think, what are the things that you want to see or what are the things that you want to bring awareness to in this season, in this phase of the moon? What energies will you be allowing and what energies you will not be giving Once you're ready, begin to come back to your present moment. Allow the eyes to open. Release the head. Simply make your way back to your tabletop. Crawling from the hands. Release any prop to the sides. Lift your hips up. Release that left leg back. Swing the hips side to side, making sure nothing is painful. Option to do your cat and cow here as well. Once you're ready, let's do your sleeping swan on the opposite side. Right knee towards the center of your hands. Swing that right foot to the left. And then slowly place your leg to, this, to the back, extending it. Hips ground down. Again, find your sweet spot on this side. 
right heel can come farther if you want you can opt to stay here seated find blocks support your hips here if you want to elevate go ahead allow the navel to keep pressing onto the spine if you're staying here maybe heart can open allow the left ribs to press forward or if you want to go further extend your hands long as you fold all the way down you take your hands on opposite elbows allow the heart to gently rest on your right calf right shin this time around and release any tension in your neck and your shoulders. Whenever you're ready, simply come back. Open the eyes, release the hands, crawl back to your seat if you went down. Press from the hands, lift your hips up, releasing that right leg. Swing the hips side to side, again, releasing any tension that is here in the body. Once you're ready, crawl your knees forward to the hands. Maybe swing the legs to the side and take a seat at the center of your mat. We're going to go and find our next poses lying down on our mats. So uh, extend both of your feet forward. Slowly lie down here on your mat. So you have an option to be here in your savasana for a bit or if you want to go further already. Extending both of your feet to the top of your mat, extending your hands to the top, up and overhead. We're going to find your banana asana. So first, to find awareness in where your lower back is at, begin to tuck the tailbone, lift your hips up. Making sure there's no curving there before we start. And then slowly swing your legs to one side. I'm going to do it with my left first. And then we're going to swing your hands, your upper body to the left side, but your middle body is still here at the center. You have an option to stay here in your banana asana, literally opening the right side body. If you want to go further here, you can plant that right leg, right foot on top of your left. You can also catch with the left hand your right wrist to feel this lengthening as well. So allow this energy from your right side body radiate from your right heel to the right hip, towards your right shoulder, and to the right pinky. You can opt to close your eyes. Allow the right hip and the right shoulder to still stay grounded. Soften the face and radiate the breath, inflating more on the right lungs, expand, uh, expanding more on the right ribs. Notice how you can go deeper into the shape. Notice how you can honor yourself in the shape.
Once you're ready, begin to release. Release the hands first. And release the legs back to the center. Maybe uh, plant the feet, bend the knees, swing the legs side to side, windshield wipers, making sure nothing is painful. You can also wiggle your shoulders, your hands here if you want. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna do everything on the opposite side. And this time around, we're gonna swing it to the right. Maybe left hand, uh, left foot, left leg on top of your right. And then extend your hands to the right here, upper body. But the belly, the uh, solar plexus chakra is still here at the middle. Right hand can catch the left wrist this side. Notice how this feels on the counter stretch. Visualizing inflating more on the left lungs, expanding more on the left ribs. And see how uh, this energy from your left heel travel towards your left hip, left shoulder, to the left pinky. Once you're ready, let's release. Come back to the center. As slow as you can, as gentle as you want. Again, find windshield wipers if you want. Once you're ready, we're going to take a seat once more. So begin to open the eyes if you haven't yet. Swing into one side. And make your way back to the center of your mat. This time around, last few poses. First off, we're going to find our um, deer poses here. So remember when we do our cobbler's pose or our um baddha konasana where they're well where all knees are bent here we're gonna try your knees to point one side so 290 degrees on the legs left knee towards the center like so so it's like your right foot and your left knee can come together like that if you want to go further you can put them a little bit far from each other and then slowly we're gonna twist towards the right like so so do that and then you have an option to find your blocks, your blankets. Place them here on the side of the right hip. There you go. So we're going to focus more on opening the left side body from the left hip here. So ground down. You have an option to allow the heart to open to the right side and then slowly fall down like that. So you can come here really high. You can go deep if you want. If this is... Um, not as high as you want, you can go and find modifications like so.
Let's begin to rise whenever you're done. Come back to the center of your seat. We're going to try the opposite side. So you can place all of your props onto the right side, left side hip, or you can just go and lift your hips up and then go and plant that left hip like that. So 290 degrees on each leg here, flexing the foot or just let them be. Slowly allow a twist. Heart opens here on the opposite side, and then maybe you can fold all the way down. Begin to release on your next breath. Come back to the center once you're ready. Feeling the opening on the side bodies here. Release your props onto the sides. And then slowly let's make our way towards the center of our mat once more. We're gonna find ourselves back in our Sukhasana. Landing here on your hips. Again, you have an option to find blankets, maybe pillows, maybe just a block placed in here on your bum. Elevate yourself a little if you want. Allow the hands to ground down on your knees. Plant all of your fingertips down. Roll the shoulders to the ears as you inhale and draw them down and back as you exhale. Have an option to gaze forward again, uh, coming back to your drishti. Or soften the gaze through the nose or close your eyes here for a few moments. And begin to come back to the breath. As you reap the benefits of your restorative yoga. And as the new moon invites you to be in season of being kind, of being gentle with yourself as you expend your energy and as you allow time to turn inward. Give yourself permission to meditate. Give yourself permission to slow down and reflect. Give yourself permission to listen to what you truly desire. Let me guide you back to the intentions that you have set up for today's practice. And give yourself space to see how this intention is in alignment with yourself. Begin to reflect if this intention is a way for you to turn inward. Let's close your practice today with one big OM. Inhale deep through the nose and exhale an OM. Inhale. OM. Cleansing the energy with the sound of the universe, 
hands in prayer to the heart. Namaste.